May and calendar 2012, which is fine. 2012, sure. Yeah. What's your, in five, What's your take on it? <laughs> actually, there's a new a new documentary. It was just released in the states. Uh, I'm part of that documentary. It's uh, it's called 2012, where a number of authors have been uh, brought together to uh, and researchers to talk about this. It's it's interesting to me. The Mayan calendar began uh, 5,000 years ago, and it ends at the solstice on 2012. It ends on the day that all the planets in our solar systems are aligned. In May of 2006, uh, Western scientists were able. The last solar cycle ended, so they were able to predict when the midpoint of the next cycle will occur, mm -hmm. and it happens to be right during the 2012 convergence time. And they're saying that it'll be a doozy, that we will have uh, solar influences of like nothing like we've seen uh, you know, in modern times. Uh, so science is telling us when those planets line up, the magnetic fields, there's a pull. Um, when those, uh, uh, all of those influences converge, the calendar ends then, I think it says to us there's, there's a window of opportunity, something's going to happen. Yeah. Nobody's clear on what that is, and I think we are choosing that outcome right now by the way we live our lives. I think we'll define our experience as we go through a window of, of change, and I think all the things in our world that are happening now are teaching and training and preparing us for, for that change, and I believe we'll be ready. That's, yeah. That's, uh, that's the optimist in me. No, I, I absolutely agree with you. And I guess that one key message is the, it's in, how important it is for each single person to understand they are part of that solution or not. So just as I've yeah. been given the wind up, I would love you to kind of look into that camera mm -hmm. and just give a sentence to the viewers out there. To the viewers out there, yeah. what I'll say is that the world around us is nothing more and nothing less than a mirror of what we've created individually and collectively in our hearts. If we want to see change in our world, we've got to become that change in our lives. And, uh, and that's what I'd like to leave you with today.